All right, so what I want to show you is the final product. Now, this one does not have sprinkles. I didn't put sprinkles on a few of them mainly because I knew I was going to hold them up and the sprinkles would be everywhere. Um, so this is the final product of the tree. You can color your dough if you want to make them green. Just put a dot of food coloring and you can have little green Christmas trees. You can drizzle melted chocolate over it. So if you Google spritz cookies, you can see some of the different designs that you can do with the spritz cookies as far as how to decorate the top of them or the outside of them. I do have another stencil ready. You can see the dough is kind of poking through. So I'm going to have to throw that in my bowl and then start fresh there. Um, but one thing I did want to mention with these cookies, the back, if you guys remember, the recipe said to bake these for 10 to 12 minutes. I set my timer for 10 minutes. And honestly, they are brown, not overly brown. But personally, I think um, two things. One, if I left them in for 12 minutes, they would be completely burned. So that's one lesson of if you get a range of time, make sure you cook it for the shorter time and check them. Otherwise, if you overcook them, you can't fix it. The other thing is, I think for this next batch, I'm going to put them in for just nine minutes and see how that goes. So I have more than enough dough to make um, plenty more cookies. So I'm going to try it with nine minutes and see how that goes. But these are nice little, so I don't know, you could probably eat about 30 of them, although you shouldn't eat 30 at a time. Um, but I'm sure my husband could. So anyway, um, I'm going to start with this next one. This is actually kind of a cool shape. And so the stencil looks like this. Um, on the sheet, I tried a few already. They kind of look like a flower. I thought maybe it would be like a snowflake, but they kind of look like a flower. And so also if you ever put your cookie press on the cookie sheet and lift up and it's messed up or it doesn't come out all the way, it could be because there's air in your cookie gun. Okay, so again, if the dough isn't all pushed together and there's any air in it, it may not come out. But if it doesn't, so let's see. My, my thing has also been sitting here. So, of course, until I get back in the groove. Let's see. Nope. Once you get back in the groove, here we go. Now you want to keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna... These are pretty. I don't know if you, if you can see too well from your angle. I'll show you in a second here. But these are really pretty. That one, that one I picked up a little too soon. So if you pick it up too soon, they'll kind of smear a little bit. So that was a good one. All right, so here's my next sheet. And I'm gonna bake these, but I'll let you guys see what they look like. That shape's kind of pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try another shape, maybe a snowflake, okay. So hope you guys enjoyed and will consider making some spritz cookies at your house. They're easy, they're fun, they're not messy. You can do a lot of different shapes and decorate them a lot of different ways. So thanks for watching.